In this video, we are going to look at the three most common ways of connecting Google BigQuery to Google Sheets for reporting purposes. In a typical ad hoc reporting workflow, data analysts have to run SQL queries for the end users, download the results as CSV files, and send them by email. And then let them do pivot tables or charts or whatever they like on top of that. Today, I'll share with you the most common ways of building reports on BigQuery data in Google Sheets and also show you how end users can run reports themselves. The data professional just has to prepare a SQL query and save it. And yes, it could be that simple. Hey there, I'm Yevgen. You are at our OVAX Bay YouTube channel where we speak all things about analytics, data, and sometimes a bit of marketing. We empower data and business teams to collaborate around their data so they can grow business together. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to learn more about modern data practices. With this being said, let's dive right in. It's difficult to find a data analyst, a manager, a marketer, or any other business user who doesn't work with spreadsheets. Whether it's Google Sheets or Excel, business users are making revenue-oriented decisions based on some spreadsheet data. The problem is that spreadsheet tools are rarely suitable for storing data. Modern businesses store vast amount of data in databases, cloud data warehouses, and data lakes such as PostgreSQL, Snowflake, or Google BigQuery. That is why corporate data is typically just not accessible for most of the business spreadsheet users, either due to the corporate policies or just the fact that they don't know the data language. They are not SQL experts. I'll leave a link to the video right here where I explain the basics of SQL super simple, so even non-technical users can learn SQL in order to speak the same language as data. So, business users need to access corporate data. If you are watching this video, your data is probably stored in BigQuery. So, let me show you how to connect BigQuery to Google Sheets and automate reporting. We will start with the BigQuery UI. We are going to be taking my Marvel demo dataset with the details about the famous heroes, their names, origin planet, and so on. And we'll run a very simple query. Select asterisk from my project name, Marvel dataset, and heroes table. It's pretty small, so I won't limit it. Let's run this query, and it's super simple. At the beginning of this video, I've mentioned that I will share three ways of bringing data from BigQuery into Sheets. Here is the first one, using save query results in BigQuery. In order to save the query results directly from BigQuery to Google Sheets, you have to execute your SQL query in the BigQuery UI, wait until it's executed, and then click here to save results. There are so many options here – CSV to drive, CSV file, JSON, BigQuery table, and here we have Google Sheets. So let's click here and see what happens. It's saved. Let's click this Open button and check our new Google Sheets. As you can see, we have a table with our corporate data right inside the spreadsheet. While this method might seem straightforward, it has several weaknesses that make it really useless. Once data is exported to Sheets, it becomes disconnected from the database. So every time you need updated data, you have to manually open BigQuery UI, run a query, and save the results again, which makes this method really not usable for business reporting. So we move forward to another Google feature. It's called Connected Sheets. Here is how it works. Navigate to BigQuery and locate the query you want to analyze. Click to Explore Data and select Explore with Sheets option. If you want to just analyze a table, just open the table and click Export and select the Explore with Sheets option. Now, you have the query results or a table available in front of you in the interface that is very similar to Google Sheets. Now you can extract more rows schedule refreshes every day or hour, and build pivots and charts. But there are still a lot of limitations here. Collaboration features are pretty limited. Data refresh is hardly customized. You can select from daily, weekly, or hourly. That's a good frequency, but if you need a report just twice a day, 
Why do you need to run it 24 times a day and pay extra for data processing every time? However, the biggest limitation is that you cannot retrieve large files. There is a cap on the number of rows, which may restrict the analysis of larger datasets. Option number three. Let's dive into the process of building reports with Avox BI. This tool significantly helps teams, not only individuals, to build and automate corporate reports in Google Sheets. It redefines the way data teams and business users collaborate around. A data professional can just provide the end user with an interface to select the data mart, SQL query, and then they can apply their own filters without having to know SQL to pull just the data they need into a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Then they can do things on top of that like build pivot tables or charts as well as set automated updates when they need the data. First, you need to install the OVAX BI BigQuery Reports extension from the Google Workspace Marketplace. Simply search for BigQuery and select the first option. Over 150k users trust us their data, so we are the first option here across all of the extensions in the Marketplace. Next, open Google Sheets and navigate to the Extension menu. Select OVAX BI BigQuery Reports and select your GCP project. Now you can see the list of queries you and your team already built. In case anybody from your organization ever did this, just click to add a new query. Use the editor to write, paste or modify your SQL. If you are in to SQL or you need assistance, OVAX BI SQL Copilot will do all of the dirty job for you. Just check the link in the description to this video. Once your query is ready, just run it. This extension processes the data in the BigQuery and the results are instantly imported into Google Sheets on the new sheet named according to your query. Now you can easily apply the filters based on the table schema to your data and set limits to manage the scope of data being imported, ensuring your sheets remain responsive and manageable. You can also add dynamic parameters into the query itself to filter your reports based on the values of columns that were not retrieved. And finally, it's time to set up automated refreshes to your report. You can specify the refreshes frequency as detailed as you wish. Let me set it up at 8 a.m. and 4 p.m., but just every Monday. The real beauty of this that you don't have to set updates for every report. You can do that for all of the reports you have within the same document. This way, you can ensure your data is always up to date and you don't pay extra for processing. Now it's time to share this report with a business user in case you haven't done that yet before you've scheduled an update. Obox BI makes your data from BigQuery accessible in Sheets. When you run the query, anybody within your team would be able to run it themselves without waiting for you. Plus, there are no limitations on the number of rows or columns. You can retrieve as much data as you want. OVAX BI Reports extension stands as the perfect solution for teams who want to be hands-on with data, not just individual data professionals, no matter which solution you've selected. Google Sheets is a great visualization tool, so it's time to build dynamic pivots, charts and graphs facilitating real-time data analysis for better business decisions. Complex corporate data can be communicated in a visual engaging manner. It's like having a visualization tool right inside the data warehouse. And there you have it. We've explored three ways to connect Google BigQuery to Google Sheets, each offering different benefits depending on your needs. Whether you prefer the simplicity of saving query results directly just as an ad hoc way of analytics, or you like connected sheets, or the advanced collaboration tool OVAX BI, there is a solution that can enhance your corporate reporting. And remember, the goal here is to make BigQuery data accessible to business users and, more importantly, to make the data actionable, enabling business users to make informed decisions faster. If this video helped you with your reporting processes, Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming insights. I would also love to hear your experience with connecting BigQuery to Sheets in the comments down below. So, thanks for watching this video, 
I'm Yevgen from Ovax and remember, data always makes sense. Your data has a story to tell and we are here to help you tell it. See you soon, but until next time, stay data-driven and explore the endless opportunities your data brings in.